Climate threat in Tuvalu holds election closely watched by China and Taiwan. Voting began on Friday in the tiny Pacific island nation of Tuvalu in a national election that is being closely watched by China, Taiwan, the United States, and its ally Australia amid a tussle for influence in the region. Tuvalu, with a population of about 11,200 spread across nine islands. Has campaigned at international conferences for greater action to help low-lying nations address climate change, because science shows its capital fund of beauty risks being inundated by tides by 2050. Most of Tuvalu is forecast to be flooded by high tides by 2100, says the United Nations Development Program, which is working with Tuvalu to bolster its coastline. A contest for influence in the Pacific between China and the United States has seen Tuvalu courted, with Washington recently pledging to connect its remote population by undersea cable to global telecommunications for the first time. Tuvalu is one of three remaining Pacific allies of Taiwan after Nauru cut TIs this month and switched to Beijing, which pledged more development support. Taiwan on Thursday said China was trying to influence the Tuvalu election and seize our diplomatic allies. China's foreign ministry did not immediately respond to a request for comment. China views democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory and not entitled to diplomatic TIs. Taiwan rejects China's sovereignty claim. Contenders for Tuvalu's leadership have all advocated for climate change action on the world stage. But differ in approaches to TIs with Taiwan, a diplomatic ally since 1979. Tuvalu's finance minister Seve Pinu, who has secured a seat in the new parliament, as one of only two candidates for the Nukulele Island electorate, told Reuters he expects Taiwan TIs to be reviewed after the election. The new government should decide whether Taiwan or China can best respond to Tuvalu's development needs, he said. Thanks for watching.